order to understand how a fitting is going to behave when controlling deflection, you first have to understand what you're using to make the press. Is it a ring or a jaw? So in this case, we have a ring and the fitting will move towards the opening of the ring. With a jaw, the fitting will move towards the opening of the jaw. An easy way to remember how it's going to move when you're using a ring is if you're using an actuator, which you must use to actuate a ring, the fitting will always come at you or towards you. When you're using a jaw, the opening in the press tool is facing away, so it's always going to go away from you. When you understand that, you can also understand how to control deflection and prevent it from happening. I've got a piece of pipe here in the tri stand and we've got some inch and a half and some two inch back here and this is a section of half inch and we're going to put a piece of pipe in there and show you how to keep that straight as well. But I'm going to use rings and jaws here and pressing on opposite sides as well as counteracting the pressing force to help keep this run of pipe straight. And I'll show you how to do it and once you understand it, you'll be making pipe straight, plumb and level every single time. Since I'm using a ring, I have an actuator. Do you remember which way the fitting is gonna wanna move when I'm using an actuator? Remember, it's gonna come towards me or towards the press tool because the opening of the ring is here and the actuator is gonna pinch right here to make the press. I'm using the weight of the pipe, so the pipe is actually pulling down. So what I'm gonna do is press from the top and cause that fitting to kick in this direction and it should be pretty straight. Let's do the press. Now you may have noticed that when I made that press, the pipe lifted up. Okay, that's because the fitting was moving towards the opening of the ring right here at the top. And it's pretty straight. We're going to put a camera on it later. But let's make the other presses using the push-pull or opposing side method. Okay, now what I want to do is press two joints, here on the two inch and then here on the inch and a half for this fitting reducer. Well, if I couldn't get to the top and I wanted this to run straight, I could press on opposite sides. I can press this fitting here and this fitting on this side. In this case, I'm gonna press the two inch here, then I'm gonna switch sides and press the inch and a half on that side of the pipe. I'll show you how it works. As I start the press, I can actually push against the press force of the tool. So I can actually put a little bit of force in this direction and counteract some of that deflection. It doesn't take a lot of force. Now I'm going to go ahead and press on this side. That's going to counteract the force that caused the ring to move towards me over there where the fitting was moving towards me over there at the opening of the ring. And in this case, it's going to come towards me. That's the opposite of the press that I just made. So I'm going to press over here. Again, I can apply some force in this direction to counteract some of that pressing force and keep things moving straight. And voila, we're all pressed up. Now we're going to deal with this guy. Before I go ahead and press this, I just wanted you to see how straight this section of pipe is. I'll move out of the way. You can see it's pretty darn straight. You can easily control deflection when you understand which way the fitting will move. The pipe will move in the opposite direction, and by counteracting that force, you can run straight pipe every time. Now I've locked my pipe down into my pipe stand because I don't want any movement this way. I want to be able to control what I'm doing with this vertical pipe. We're going to use a jaw now. Now in this case, do you remember which way the fitting is going to want to kick? Remember, it's going to want to kick towards the opening of the jaw. But I'm going to counteract that force. But something else you can do when you're making a press is you don't have to just squeeze the trigger of the press tool and complete the press. You can actually feather the trigger and align your pipe and then finish the press so that it's straight. I'll show you how it's done. We're going to use our half inch jaw 
I'm going to press from behind here. Now remember, the pipe is going to want to come this way because the fitting is trying to go that way. But I've got my level here and I'm going to hold things level in this direction and I'm going to start my press. I can release my tool by releasing the ram and I can actually come over here and check my level. Now I can go ahead and make my press to finish it off nice and plumb. And that is just as straight and pretty as can be. If you understand which way the fitting is moving, you'll also understand which way the pipe is going to move. Remember, it's easy to control deflection. Just remember, it always moves towards the opening of the ring or the jaw. That's it.